all. I don't have any makeup on my brows, y'all. Now, this is normally what my brows look like when I fill them in. I woke up like this. Like, seriously, I woke up like this. And What's up y'all welcome or welcome back to another video i'm shanika if you guys are new here thank you so much for stopping by if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to your girl's channel i would really appreciate it today y'all if you can't already tell by the title we are going to be microblading my own eyebrows i am microblading my brows yes i am i want to make a quick disclaimer before i get into the video i am in no way shape or form telling you guys to go and microblade your own your own eyebrows this procedure is a tattoo procedure. It is very serious and you can potentially infect yourself. You can, you know, give yourself results that you don't want. I am not telling you guys to do this. If you are not new here, you know I am a DIY girly. I am a licensed cosmetologist, so this is kind of like up my alley. Uh, I've never done this before and I don't have, um, I don't have direct training on this but i do know a little something something i do know how to shape brows i do have to know how to matte brows and things like that so i always wanted it done as you guys can see my brows are pretty thick and shaped in general just from me doing them over and over constantly through the years like i've started to have some thinning on my ends which is why when i back up it looks like i don't even have a tail but when i come closer you can see that there is still hair there it's just very thin so my goal here with this procedure is to fill this in a little bit more. I want to make this bold like in your face. I want my brows in general to just be bolder. I want to make a, big, a bigger statement with my brows without having to fill them in. Yo, I'm super excited. All the things that I use in this video will be linked down below. I got everything from Amazon with the exception of these microblading pens i did not get these from amazon i actually got these microblading pens from a convention skincare convention i went to probably three years ago y'all because i had this whole thing that i was going to be trained in microblading and i was going to provide that as a service so like you can go on amazon and find these y'all like you don't have to get these from a school or anything like that so the first thing that I'm going to do, y'all, is I want to map. Well, first thing first, I'm going to cleanse my brows with alcohol. I'm going to wipe them down with alcohol. But I do want to map my brows out. I watched a couple of videos on this, and not everybody map, not everybody was mapping their brows out. I want to map my brows out for the simple fact that this is kind of permanent. Like, once I do this, it ain't no turning back for a really long time <laughs> so i want to map them out outline them so that i don't go out of kind of like i want to kind of like pretty much color color in the lines so i'm gonna just do a little brow grooming so i can see where exactly i want to map and shape Anytime you're mapping your brows out, y'all, you always want to brush your brows upward to really get that good. Now, I didn't even wax my brows beforehand, y'all, which y'all know I am a waxer. I do uh, body waxing and facial wax with your facial waxing services but i didn't wax them because i didn't want to irritate my skin but i am i think going to go in with my tweezers and i am going to tweeze out around like these little hairs that i don't want because i want them to be i want the lines when i go to the microblade i want them to be very sharp This right here is the struggle brow. <laughs> so this is the brow I really can't wait to microblade because it's giving a struggle. I have my Lidocaine here. This is 
they I've seen some videos where some women were doing more than five percent. Some women were doing ten percent. I couldn't find no ten percent lidocaine. So I just got this five percent. So some women say they let it sit for 15 minutes, some women say they let it sit for 30. I think I'ma just let it sit for 15 and if I still feel the pain, if I still can feel my skin, I'll let it sit for another 15. So I'm just gonna take the cotton round and I'm going to apply it to my brows. And this is again numbing numbing cream. I'm trying to numb this area y'all because I don't wanna feel a daggone thing. Let this sit and then I will be back when we start the process. Okay guys, so I feel like it's working. I feel tingly, so that's a good sign, I guess. I'm about to fill it and see if it feels numb. I definitely still feel. I still have feeling. I definitely still. Uh, I don't know if I can feel it. Hmm. I don't know if I can feel it or not, y'all. <laughs> I feel like it's numbing, but I'm not sure if I have feeling or not. I'm just gonna wipe a little bit off. It's been like 15 minutes, but it started to get tingly, so I was like, maybe I'm good. We'll see. All right, so like I said, I wanted to do like a rough mapping. Yeah, I don't feel it. I feel it, but I don't feel it. You know what I mean? Like I feel like something's touching me, but I mean, I guess I won't really know if I can feel it, feel it until I actually get in and actually start doing a surface. But I want to quickly, like I said, do a quick, quick mapping out. Now, typically when you map your brows out, you really want to go in and line them up. So. I know that I want my brows to be it's kind of hard to do it <laughs> with one hand I just know I can definitely freestyle it though Yeah, I don't really feel, I feel it, but I don't feel it. See? Just a little slight shaping of the brow. Now, again, if you guys need like tips on how to map your brows out, look it up. Look it up on YouTube. It's there. There's plenty of videos on how to map it out. I'm not going to map it out because I know exactly what I want. I can freehand it, but if you are going to be doing do it, get your, get and you don't know how to map brows out, watch a tutorial on how to map your brows out first before you go and freehand something like this because again, this is very it's not permanent forever, but it's you won't have it for at least a year. <laughs> so um, be sure that the, you're doing the shape, the type of shape that you want. All right, this is the Chuss C H U S E ink, and I got this off of Amazon. This is a very popular brand. I got dark brown, y'all. Like I really was very tempted to get black because I like my brows to be very dark. But I was like, eh, I don't want them to be too dark to the point where I am upset. Like, if I got the light, the dark brown, because if the dark brown is too light, I can always go back 
over it, you know, and get another, a darker color. But if it's too dark, you know, it really ain't no going back from there. So I would say if you have reservations about the color, start out light. If you don't like the way the light looks, then you can always build up from there. Gonna go ahead and open up my microblading pen. These are two different ones. You have one that's more like a U shape and you have one that is more like a slant. I think I'm going to go in with the slant one first and see how I like the way that that, if I like the way that applies or not. This is right off the pack. Always make sure that your micro blades are sealed and packed because you don't want to, again, this is a serious serious procedure um i don't know if you guys can really see what i'm doing but i'm gonna start hmm. i'm gonna start from the front from the same place i got the microblading thing from so I don't feel it, y'all. <laughs> I don't feel it. So hopefully. I'm not gonna really go in on the front, y'all, because I don't know how this is about to look. So, I wanna kinda wipe it away a little bit to see like what it's looking like. Get the cotton. Just to see, make sure it's actually taken, you know? All right, so that was the first round. <laughs> I'm trying to wipe it to see. But I guess I'll just let that sit. And then I'm gonna go do this brow. And I'm gonna start slow, and if I need to build it up, then I will. But I don't wanna just go crazy. You know, the first, I, I like to start out slow. I definitely feel something. It's definitely a little sting there. I definitely feel it 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 doesn't it definitely stings but it doesn't like it's not unbearable pain again I have a high pain tolerance so I don't know if you somebody who doesn't have a high pain tolerance I don't know how you would how this would feel 
All right, so um, I'm going to wrap this with saran wrap again for like a couple minutes. I don't know. I think I've seen somebody um like add more pigment just to like rub it in. It definitely stings. So, try at your own risk, y'all. <laughs> it's looking real cray cray right now, though. I ain't gonna lie. Real cray cray. Alright. <laughs> Woo! Alright, let me put some. So ram wrap, let it sit for like five ten minutes, I guess, and see if I need to go back in and fix anything. I'm about to wipe this off just to see. It's been about ten minutes. Hurry up! I'm a little nervous. It looks okay. It looks okay. I need to... Hmm. Okay, so I need to go in more. It looks good. Or do I look the same? <laughs> I need to go in more. Yeah, I need to go in more. It's not bold enough for me. So, I'm going to go in more. Because I just want it bolder. Like, I'm starting to see a little... You know, like I definitely see more pigment here, but it's it's I still want it bolder. Like I want it like in your face. Like what most people don't want for their brows, I want for my brows. Like I want it bold. So I need to go in more. I need to go in more. Yeah, I need to go in more. More, more, more. Alright, so I'm gonna go in more. I'm gonna start at the ends because that's my real problem area. Older. Yo, this hurt though. I ain't gonna lie. It definitely hurt. Alright. I'm gonna go a little in a little more on the actual brow too. Because I just wanted to be just a little bit more bolder all around. Uh, it burns so bad. Be prepared for the pain. Honestly, it hurts. 
All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna let it sit. And then for another, cause I'm gonna let it sit for like 20 minutes to y'all. And then we can check it out. Oops. I gotta be quiet now cause he just brought my baby in here, so. And I do not need her to wake up while I'm in the middle of trying to tip to my brows. You guys don't know I am a new mom so which is another reason why I need my brows microbladed because I don't have time to do my brows really it's like when I'm getting her ready like honestly it's it's getting her ready and then I have like literally maybe a minute for myself so this is very ideal for moms because y'all know we be want to look like something but I just don't have the time that I used to have getting ready so Having my brows already done permanently will save me a lot of time. Cause like, also, like I said, told y'all before, brows is the most important thing on my face, on to me on your face. So if you can have the brows done, you've already won. <laughs> It looks good, y'all, but it's not dark enough. I want it darker. I should have got black. I should have got black. Cause it's like no matter how many, no matter how many times I do it, it's not gonna give me the pigment that I want. But y'all see how how that looks thicker already, and I see I gotta go in a little bit more right here. I gotta go in more. It ain't dark enough. It ain't dark enough. It looks good though. It looks good. I just want it. I just want it dark enough. And I need to go in a little bit more intense right here. Yo, I'm the type of person that I will keep doing this until it's perfect. Yo, I'm about to go in, in. Cause I want this so thick. I want it dark. And I think, I just think it's just not dark enough for me. So what I think I would do when I redo it is I will leave the front dark brown. Cause I like the way the front looks. Like if y'all could get a real good look on the front. I like the way that it looks. It's giving hair. But on the ends, I could go darker on the ends. Like this could be black for me. Like this right here is fine. Light brown, I like, I filled it in a little bit. It's not overdone. I don't like an overdone front. But here, I like it dramatic. And the whole point of me microblading them is so that I don't have to put makeup on. But if they're still light on the ends, I'm gonna still end up putting makeup on it. You know what I mean? Like I don't wanna have to, you know, I'm still gonna fill my brows in, but it's just like if I'm running to the store or you know I don't have time, I still want them to look filled in. So that's what I'm gonna do the next time when I go for a retouch in a few months. I'm going to refill these and i'm just going to get the black because they did have black but i like i said i was a little nervous to get black because i was like oh my god like if it's too dark i can't fix too dark i can fix too light so but if you like a natural brow get dark brown because this, this looks nice it's just not dramatic enough for me personally and i don't like a dramatic Yo, the, the, the lighter cane definitely is starting to wear off. <laughs> so, your girl needs to hurry up. All 
All right, so let's let this sit and hopefully I get the, the shape that I'm looking for. I think I'm gonna make this tail a little longer. Oh yeah, so I decided to add more ink just to let it sink in the wounds, the sores a little bit more, just to give it a little bit more intensity. And for this last time, I'm gonna leave it on probably for the longest that I can. So, I'm about to start trying to do, like, do some stuff around the house. I'm gonna leave it on and then I'll let y'all know how long I left it on for. But I wanna go and just add a little bit more intensity to it. Oh yeah, so it's been about 30 minutes um, only because I had to feed my baby. <laughs> she started crying uh, in the middle of me waiting. So I'm about to go ahead and remove the ink. Oh yeah, see that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, y'all, see that's what I'm talking about. That's the type of intensity that I wanted. You see what I mean? Yeah. Aww. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this one off. That's what I was looking for. See how full that much fuller that looks, y'all? That's exactly what I was looking for. the next day it is actually the next day um from me microblading my brows let me bring y'all down a little bit i just wanted to talk to y'all about these results y'all so y'all no makeup at all i don't have any makeup on my brows y'all now this is normally what my brows look like when i fill them in i woke up like this like seriously I woke up like this and I am just so hyped because this is what I wanted y'all I wanted to be able to wake up with brows I wanted that to you know like a, to me your eyebrows are the thing that shapes and makes your face so if your brows are perfect and done to perfection your face just you know you just have a whole new type of face you know what I mean and when I would have to wipe my brows off I'd be like dang like I just love my brows looking full all the time I hate when I have to wipe them off so now I can walk around the house and my brows y'all I killed this I love these results now I did tell y'all yesterday that um I do want to go back and I do want to do them darker and bolder now if you are a natural girly and you are more calm and you know you you don't really need a bold a pop i would definitely say go for the color that i went for which is the dark brown and you're my complexion go for the dark brown because it's subtle it's light it looks like you just got your brows waxed and that's it like it's nice it's subtle it's it's, it's not anything extra but for me I'm going to keep the front because I do like a very ombre brow. So I do like it to be very thin and light at the front. And then on that end, I like a little bit more pizzazz on the end. Now, because I didn't have a lot of hair here, it does look a little thin, like a little lighter to me. And that's why I'm going to go in in about a month and I'm going to go in with the black and I'm going to really like sharpen these tails. But that's all I'm gonna do, y'all. And then when I, you know, when I redo it in a month, <laughs> I might go in a little bit more in the front just to make this one a little bit more fuller. But I'm not gonna go in anymore, y'all. I'm gonna just let it heal, just let it heal because again, this is a tattoo, so it is like sore, a little scabby. But it's not like it's not painful, y'all. It's not painful at all. Um, so again, I love the results. I am not a microblading specialist. So, 
I'm not telling anybody to take my video and go and do it on your own. I recommend you going to a professional to do it. I do have a lot of experience in doing stuff like this because I am a cosmetologist, so it is kind of up my alley and, and kind of like in my field to do these kinds of things. But again, I don't even recommend, I don't recommend anybody to do it because you can, you know, you can get affected, you can spread, um, you know, bacteria around. Like there's so many different things that, that can go wrong with this. If you're gonna do it, I would say do extensive research um, and make sure you're taking, you know, using all the right products and taking all the necessary and safety precautions to do something like this because again you don't want to get an infection a bacteria infection is very possible for for you know using a needle pretty much you're creating a wound um and also make sure you're getting the right products the product that i got the ink that i got is specifically for microblading so you don't want to just get any ink you don't want to just use anything on your skin like i said do the research make sure you're doing the right thing but y'all i love it if you are going to do it like go ahead sis it's, you know that's your decision i love my decision i'm going to probably like i said touch this touch this up once every two to three months i am going to go back in it in a month and i'm going to come to y'all with an updated video of just my my brow regimen and how i've been maintaining them and how long they have been lasting and then like i said i wanted to i want to give it a little bit more boom a little bit more pop um but overall i'm super duper happy with my brows y'all because if y'all seen in the beginning they was not giving this and this is no makeup the thing that blows me is that i don't gotta do this in the morning no more y'all i wake up like this i truly truly get to wake up like this so very happy with my results if you guys enjoyed the video please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up comment what you like what you didn't like please go ahead and subscribe if you're not already i really appreciate you guys and until the next video i will see you guys later bye